stoked. It's so much fun. We we filmed so many great little bits. The costume changes are amazing, um, and we got some great movies and TV to celebrate. I love the live element of it all. Yeah, I think growing up doing theater, it just lights me up in a way that nothing else does. So I'm really excited to just like have this experience with everyone. I'm excited for some fun like quips on stage. I want to see what people bring as far as like the on set, you know, on scene uh, comedy. So. We'll, we'll, be interested to see that. You no, know, I started watching mostly European cinema when I was little, um, but recently I I witnessed more and more different different things popping up out there. Ever since Parasite, and like for example, this year we had Sweet Game, which is different country and it's beautiful. Uh, also, we had Money Heist a couple of years ago. We had a few other things that are not. Like Veneno was a show that I was pretty much obsessed and mind blown earlier in the year. Oh, I've started watching Top Boy, which I was t took a while to get around to and thinking, yeah, brilliant, so good. I just finished watching Candy, which I thought was amazing. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once was incredible. I love Robert Eggers, so The Northman was a huge deal for me. Um, I have, I'm yet to see the unbearable weight of massive talent, which is meant to be just insane and beautiful. Um, I need to see men, um, I'm yet to see that, apparently it's genius, um, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of an A24 junkie, so anything in that world I'm like obsessed with, but Candy is amazing and beautiful. Me and my family are big fans of Succession, we just saw this Netflix film about like this World War II film that was also quite good. I always get so excited, I mean it's amazing being able to be surrounded by the fans because that's why we do this, and so being here today and Seeing all the support makes it makes it worth it. Scaredy Cat when I was younger and Scream was kind of one of the first horror films I watched to ease into the genre and I um, you know I think that the first film I mean Kevin Williamson's writing it's like a master class you know that opening scene it's, it's insane and it, there's a reason why it's one of the most iconic scenes in cinema today so I think that um, joining a franchise that has so much history that um, I've, I've had such immense respect for for such a long time is it's been a real honor and um, also knowing that the previous film was the most fun I had ever had on a set ever. I'm, I'm really looking forward to going into the next one. Right now I'm watching The Offer, uh, We Own This City, uh, Pete Valley just popped back on too. I love Mr. Pete Valley. And uh, Cheaters, Cheaters is one of my favorite shows. I, I, can't, I can't even front. When Cheaters come on, I'm all locked in. I just really got into Severance. Um, I'm a little slow to this, but Ozark, something I've really gotten into, and um, and Ted Lasso, again, like I'm super, I'm like three years behind on everything, but three kids, that's what happens, you know. We are here to celebrate the best of movies and TV. Now look, I watch almost everything on my phone. I'll admit it has turned to night while I scrolled on TikTok. Am I proud of it? No. Would I do it again? Absolutely. At least it doesn't ask me if I'm still watching. I'm always still watching. Mm -hmm.